building continues with all this price hike. The dream has lived on. Guys are working on the decking right now. Um, they started a couple of days ago. And so you can see the thickness of the pillars over there and also how high my building is. You know, I always encourage high elevations um, that makes sure you, you expand the width so you don't have steep stairs. So it's working, you know, it's, uh, it's not cheap, but uh, that's all we, those options we got. So we got to keep working. And um, so it looks like guys are busy doing what they need to do. Um, to, to move the project. You can see the neighbor's house. Um, he's moving very fast. That's awesome. And there's the garage. You can see how the garage goes. And that's where the roof uh, rooftop decking is going to be for entertainment. This is the inside. I think that is the open living room, dining room, and kitchen. And um, yep. It's, um, it's not easy, but, you know, we just got to keep doing what we got to do. And now uh, we're going to we're gonna work on that, too, as the wall. Um, we're going to do that. As you move on top, you can see they begin to put um, some wood over there, making sure the beams... Uh, designed properly with the right sizes as you can see them because some will be hitting beams and some will be slightly exposed um, so you can see that to carry the weight upstairs right because there's the downstairs is very open concept so you can see a whole beam that goes all the way right so you can see the wall board that they're moving them around and uh, it's a lot of work so hopefully they can be done in a couple of days so they can start uh, doing the uh, you know bending bending of the iron rods um, and then do some some plumbing and then before before casting so the neighborhood is developing you know people are building uh, hopefully by the time I'm done maybe I think it will make me happier that at least there's another 20 new buildings down there. Around the same time I'm done. You and, you and the community as well. So, yep. So, it is what it is. Uh, as you can see, that's the side of the garage right there. Um, so, right now, I'm not even worried about the slope right now. Uh, you know, that's the last thing that, you know, I'll deal with uh, when I do landscaping. And so, then I'll, I'll do it one time. As the back of the garage and the, the back porch. I've changed the plan a few times. I think I'm gonna extend the elevation from the back porch all the way to past the sand that we saw and the pool being inside, in ground pool. So, um, you know, and, and so it's, um, I think it's a good size house for every, every inch was utilized. Um, if it goes to you don't get it done. I just get it done. You can see the bamboo sticks over there using as a support you know some people use metal the most important thing is make sure that it's supported well um so yep and that's i believe there's a garage there's an entrance to the main house um yeah i would suggest you know go double car garage if you need to so you can use you know you know, chances are eventually you might need two cars, one sedan and one, you know, SUV. So it's just make the accommodation now, you know, just in case. And if you end up just using a car, one car, you know, at least you can use that to store your bikes and ladders and, and that kind of stuff. 
So we're in the living room, that's office, you know, and that's the main entrance over there. Um, and guys are working. And then that's my carpenter over there. He's um, he's a he's now family, you know. He works his butt off. He works really hard. 